Guys, they said Kabiesi became devastated over Quenami's uncle's decision. You know that uh, they took uh, Quenami's uncle reported this case of Kabiesi not letting Quenami go to Akure customer records. And from what we are hearing, allegedly, they said this is not the first time. That the first time they reported the case, they filed a, a court case against Kabiesi that uh, the customary court called Kabiesi and told, and told Kabiesi about it. And he ordered them to ignore the case. So after some time, they did not talk about it. And this time again, that the uncle left everything he was doing in Australia to come and take or uh, look into the case and take it serious to ensure that uh, his niece got her freedom, uh, gets her freedom. Sorry. Uh, they said the customary court also told them. They said this time they summoned Quinami's uncle and uh, his family, telling them that they should withdraw the case and go home and settle it, that there is no how they will drag their king to court, that it is against their culture and tradition. And the same with Nomi's uncle was like, are you practicing culture and tradition in the customary court? Eh? Uh, is this supposed to be your job? So is that is to say that KBS is uh, uh, above the law in your court? So when the uncle could not buy the idea, they said the uncle became disappointed with the customary court in Akure. So after all said and done, what we are hearing right now is that he has decided to uh, take the matter to Abuja customary court. And the reason why the thing hurt Kabiesi so much when he got the information is because... Uh, here, there in Akure or in, in Ileife, they, they will be able to stop people, especially the media, to cover the case. But the moment this case gets to Abuja, you cannot tell me that people will not cover it. They will do ha. There's not only Yoruba people that is there now. And you know that, uh, short, the KBS might try you, but let me tell you, the case will come out. The videos will come out. And you know that KBS's uh, gist is always spreading like wildfire on social media. People like to hear about it. And coupled with the fact that a lot of people love Quinami so much, even though there are a lot of people who really want her to return back to KBS, but a good number of people want her to get her freedom. And with what KBS is doing right now, I don't think those of them who are encouraging her to go back to that marriage is, uh, is big again. Because only recently we heard that KBS is about to welcome new wives. Eh? And he also wants Quenomi to be in such situation. Even when Quenomi made it clear to him at the beginning that he doesn't want to be a poly, uh, he doesn't want to be a, how does she even put it? A spare, square peg around the whatever. That she doesn't want to be counted among the harem of KBS's women. And yet, KBS is dragging her with full force to put her there. Anyways, one thing again is this. Uh, our government, our president, and so many people who are there in power, mm -hmm, they are Yoruba people. At the end of the day, they might be able to maneuver things again. It's possible. Yes, because I believe that uh, in certain countries, things like that doesn't happen. No matter who you are, nobody is above the law. But here, <laughs> let's just watch and pray. And at the end of the day, what I will always say is that let the will of God be done. Because I know that it's only God who can save Quinami in this kind of situation. This uh, Quinami's uncle that is trying to do his possible best to let her get her freedom to make her get her freedom. I don't know. The man will try you, but I bet you, as long as Niger is consigned, they will do it in a way that at some point the man will get tired and return back to Australia to face his life. Because, like I said, it's only the will of God that will be done at the end of the day. But one thing I am saying is this. Kabiesi, marriage is not by force. And when you force a woman to be in a place where she's, where her heart 
is no longer accepting the she she cannot feel that happy she cannot be happy in such a place you know then come to think of it some people are saying that uh with naomi that the best thing for you to do is calm down take care of tadenikawo and let god fight this battle for you because even if at the end of the day your uncle wins kabiesi in court that Kabiesi will force you to release Tadenikawa to him. And that simply means that Tadenikawa will end up in the hands of these old cargoes who doesn't care about Tadenikawa, who might go extra mile. Someone like uh, Olori Kalabash can do anything just to make sure that that crown prince, that, he is that she is claiming for her baby, goes to him you know so my best advice is queen naomi anything that will protect tadenikawo do it the possibility that after going to court they will win you and uh, maybe they will give you tadenikawo at the age of six seven or eight nine ten kabiesi will come and claim the baby and they might decide to give him and if they hand over tadenikawo to uh uh to uh, Kabiesi at that age, maybe 10, even 15, even 17. As long as Penami is not there, he is he will not be safe in that palace without his mother. And we know that all the other Oloris, they hate Kwenami, they don't want Kwenami around just because they believe that Kabiesi loves Kwenami so much that the moment Kwenami comes in, they will not have any chance in Kabiesi's life again. Even if they will be there as Olo but opportunities to meet with Kabiesi or do certain things will not be there for them again. And that is why they don't want Kwenami around. And Kabiesi is even bringing more and more and more. Someone said uh, Kabiesi is going to use the old, the new Olo to punish the old Olo <laughs> Yes, now. And I support that person because if you check the kind of people that KBSC is planning to marry, if all these things we are hearing about them is true, someone like Elide Badmos, who is a, an enemy to Igbe, definitely Elide will be Igbe's worst nightmare. And uh, uh, Surrogate Mom, which is uh, Ashley's uh, enemy. <laughs> and so many of them are BK Jagaba and them. By the time Kabiesi gathered all of these women in his palace, you will see that it is going to be a war zone. While Adeo, Kabiesi beg, give Queen Naomi her freedom. I don't even want them to go to court and start dragging all of this thing. Let them just, let God touch Kabiesi's heart. Let him release Queen Naomi. That is my prayer. Anyway, guys, that is what we are hearing. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share my video. I want to appreciate you for always being part of this channel and page. My God will bless you. For those of you calling me liar, 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 I'm just sharing with you what I heard. It is your duty to go and find out if it is true or not and come and let us know on the comment section. Okay? And I will appreciate that. Thank you so much. Bye. See you.